now in this video we're going to look at uh, some examples of different voltages being put across different value resistances which I think will be helpful for many people starting out in electronics. To begin with we have 1 volt so you won't have a 1 volt battery but there will be times where you might have 100 ohms of resistance and there's 1 volt across it. One thing to keep in mind that uh, 1 volt across 100 ohms of resistance will give you 0 0.001 amps. You just take the voltage divided by the resistance, it gives you the amount in amps. If you measure it with the multimeter, you set it to milliamps, you're gonna get uh, 10 milliamps approximately on the display. That's the same as uh, 0 0.01 amps. So that's important to know how much current's gonna flow through. You also need to know how much heat it's going to generate. So with uh, one volt across a resistance, 10 milliamps of current, uh, flowing through it 0 0.01 amps you multiply the current times the voltage together you get the wattage and there you can see a uh, 0 0.01 watt now most resistors are rated for 0.25 watts and uh, larger ones can handle higher wattage but uh, that's really common now 0.25 is the maximum you really want to keep it below uh, 0 0.125 this is well below we could go a lot lower in resistance to get more current with uh, one volt right there. Now we move down one little diagram here. So we're still using 100 ohms of resistance, but we doubled the voltage. So very simple math. We're gonna have twice the current right there, 20 milliamps or 0 0.02 amps. Two volts divided by 100 ohms, 0 0.02 amps, 20 milliamps. Now we have the uh, voltage times the current there to get the uh, wattage, how much heat it is generating. 0 0.04 so that's still well below the eighth of a watt 0.125 we want to stay below and the quarter watt uh, 0.25 watts that we need to stay below to prevent a quarter watt resistor from overheating but you'll notice here we have twice the current there we doubled the voltage and compared to the diagram up here where we had one volt across 100 ohms which is 0 0.01 watt this is 0 0.04 watts it's getting four times as hot by doubling the voltage and thus the current when we have the same value resistor so it's very important to remember as voltage goes up heat goes up even faster now that brings us to our next two examples so we got three volts instead of uh, two which we had up here so it's 30 milliamps in instead of 20 pretty straightforward math there voltage divided by 100 ohms you get uh, 0 0.01 amps per volt so 3 volts 0 0.03 amps uh, 30 milliamps and I accidentally wrote amps there instead of watts uh, should be a W but you'll notice uh, 0 0.09 watts which is more than twice the wattage of when we had 2 volts so it's only 50 percent more uh, voltage but it's 100 percent uh, more than 100 percent more wattage it more than doubled so we are going, when we hit 4 volts, wattage is going up too fast to stick with 100 really. It will be above our recommended 0.125 watts. So we are going to go with a higher uh, resistance right there. So we have 4 volts divided by 150 ohms, 0 0.027 amps. So we got less amps than we had there. And uh, there you can see we got uh, 0 0.12 or 107 watts right there, 107 milliwatts. So it is... Uh, a little bit hotter than that one there, but we have less current. So basically, in that situation, we're wasting more power than if we could set up a circuit where we use uh, less resistance with just a little bit less uh, voltage. We could get more current and waste less power. So that's something to keep in mind. Which now brings us to 5 volts. So I have a 220 ohm resistor for a couple of reasons. First, the math works out uh, pretty nice for this diagram right here we are staying below our wattage uh, rating uh, recommended of uh, 0.125 so it's going to get pretty hot if you put 5 volts across 220 ohms of resistance you're going to get about 23 milliamps of current uh, flowing through it and uh, so that's obviously rounded off but uh, in any case most of these will be uh, rounded off so we are staying below the uh, wattage so one reason why is because the math lines up why I used so many 220 ohm resistors. Also, it's a common value. So, resistors that start with 1, such as 100, 
that start with 22, such as 2200, and uh, 33, such as 3300, are common value resistors to come across. That's one reason why I'm using 220 there, 330 there. So, of course, that's really hot right there. And also, before I move along, so even though I'm using 220 ohm resistors in a lot of my circuits, usually there's something in series with it. They're taking away some of that 5 volts. But still, since it's a 5 volt circuit, I know, based on uh, having done this at least once, that 220 ohms will always be safe as far as the resistor is concerned. Maybe it will let uh, too much current through, so you need a higher value resistor, but I know it will be safe that the resistor won't get too hot. And uh, so we have now 6 volts. I had to bump up. Uh, this is kind of the minimum resistance I want to use since it is a common value. Again, we're getting less current now than we got with 5 volts, 220 ohms. But you can see the resistor is getting pretty close to as hot right there. So we don't have uh, much choice. We're going to get about uh, 18 milliamps right there. And again, 470, as I said before, uh, 1, 22, and 33 are common starting value for resistors. So is 47. 470 is pretty common. We're getting almost exactly as hot right there. We're getting less current though. That's because we got more voltage. And uh, so it's more power being dissipated. Basically it's uh, waste heat right there. Our current's going down rapidly compared to if we have lower value uh, voltages and resistances that we can work with. So that's just something to keep in mind. Again, Normally, when I use uh, 470 ohms, it's because I have a 9 volt circuit. I have a LED usually dropping at least 2 volts from the uh, resistor. So 9 subtract uh, 2, you get 7 right there. So that's when I'm worried about what the resistor is doing. And it's 15 milliamps of current. That's plenty safe for an LED in those situations. Hopefully that makes sense. I'm speeding this up since this is a long video. Now, we have uh, 8 volts. And another common value resistor is 1000 ohms. So let's look at what we have if we end up putting 8 volts across a 1000 ohm resistor. And on schematics, usually instead of 1000 ohms, you'll see 1K right there. And they get rid of the omega symbol. You may also see the omega symbol. But uh, that's for kilo ohms, 1000 ohms, uh, same thing. So we got 0 0.008 amps. Again, the math is easy on this one for every volt you get uh, one milliamp of current. That's eight milliamps of current because we got eight volts. There you can see uh, eight milliamps right there if you were measuring it. And uh, so it's not gonna get uh, terribly hot. Uh, you know, fairly warm though, uh, 0 0.064 watts. Now we come to, you know, relatively higher voltages there. If I'm dealing with nine full volts, again, thousand ohm resistor, uh, plenty fine getting you know fairly warm, but we're still really safe now That's again as long as we're in room temperature air and everything exposed uh, to room temperature air But we got nine milliamps ten volts ten milliamps for every volt across a 1000 ohm resistor you'll get uh, 0 0.001 amp, but we got ten volts here So it's 0 0.01 amp or uh, 10 milliamps total again 11 milliamps there you can see the wattage it's still going up uh, a little bit faster than current but not a whole lot because our voltages are relatively close uh, right now so uh, the voltage isn't going up it's not like doubling or something it's going up like 10 percent there and uh, the wattage is going up a little bit more than uh, 10 percent because we're only getting 10 percent more current so in any case uh, 12 volts when I'm dealing with uh, 12 volt circuits, which isn't a whole lot in my videos. But in any case, we can still get away with a 1000 ohm resistor. It's warmer than we would like, 0.125 watts. But uh, normally you got another component or more than one component in series with the 1000 ohm resistor. So it's dropping some of the voltage, at least a volt, which still keeps us safe. But even if uh, for some reason you don't, have another component in series it's going to get uh warmer than you like but it's still you know fairly well below the 0.25 watts a quarter watt uh, maximum but again 
we only have uh, 12 milliamps that we can work with here whereas we saw earlier we could easily get like 30 uh, milliamps with a lower voltage and a lower value resistor the uh, higher value resistors either it's because you just need a very small amount of uh, current or it's because the voltage is too high you're dissipating a lot of power you're wasting heat so there's a number of reasons why you'll have higher uh, resistances and uh, hopefully it's high enough resistance because you barely need any current if it's high enough resistance because the voltage is high for the circuit you're just getting uh, waste heat for the most part and you want to avoid that as much as possible so in any case hopefully you found this uh, helpful make sure you check out one of the other videos that I'm posting on the screen and check out the links down below they all help out a lot I'll see you in the next video